make these lights a little brighter, I'd like to go blind. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Blind comic. Okay, thank you. Great. <laughs> I'm in a good mood tonight. I, I was a little... Can you make a little more feedback? Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, great. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to pump up the laughs now so you feel a little better. Feel a little better now? Well, I came and I feel much better. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to sway back and forth for no apparent reason. Thank you. And now, I'd like to do a few my impression, ladies and gentlemen, of the ex-president of the United States, Gerald Ford. Thank you for that courtesy applause. And now, do you ever notice that all male nightclub singers do the same move when they come out? They'll give you this move, right? Everything's going to be OK as soon as I get my neck fixed. I noticed it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'd like to do a few now, ladies and gentlemen, my impression of Michelangelo. This is my impression of Michelangelo. Ceilings, nothing more than ceilings. Get it? Good. OK, and now, I'd like to do a few my impression of the film Earthquake. Hey, that was real scary, wasn't it? OK, and now. Ceilings. Those singers are great. I, my favorite singers are the guys that sing at weddings and bar mitzvahs. Those are the best singers. They always make every song sound the same. You know those guys that have Glenn Platt tuxedos and they go, well, rubber, water, little ball. Hey, I'm kind of like, you know, Cross the Guild Styles of the... Yeah, sure. Anyway, I was at a wedding about... I was at a wedding about three weeks ago. It was a Jewish wedding. Jewish weddings are great because they always have Uncle Chuch come out and cut the collar. You know, that, that old guy always comes out. Kills about three people on the way to the thing. It's a hell of a way to start a marriage, you know what I'm saying? I guess not. Anyway, so I was at this wedding, and uh, I was a little drunk from drinking champagne because, you know, champagne works fast because of the bubbles. So I was a little drunk, and this guy was saying, it's quarter to three, son of the clowns, bring out the bride and groom, cut the roast beef. And uh, how much of this can you take? So I went over to the band leader, went right up to the band leader. You could see the net and the glue on his hairline, you know, one of those guys. I said, you guys take requests? He said, of course we do. I said, could you do something by the Rolling Stones? He said, yes, we can, young man, they'll have a seat. Now, I was goofing on the guy, but he was serious. And like 10 minutes later, this band leader turns to the orchestra at this wedding, says, boys, we request the Rolling Stones medley, please. And they start playing a samba, right? Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Hey, I've been around for many years. Gosh, you know, played many a soul to waste. Pleased to meet you. Hope you kind of like, you know, guess my name. Because, hey, I can't get any, gosh, satisfaction. Gee, I can't get any satisfaction. And I'm driving in my car. And a man comes on the radio. Hey, he can't be a man because he doesn't smoke the same cigarettes as me. I can't get any. No satisfaction. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I want to bring my own people out. Claude Reims on piano, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, uh, everything all right? What, did you want to deliver a message? It's a nice, nice tie. They couldn't guess your weight, huh? Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> those, uh, <laughs> those band singers are funny to me because they're the opposite of the real thing. The real thing is Mick Jagger. You ever see Jagger work? Jagger's like a rooster that took acid, you know? I'm a fucking mummy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somehow I don't believe him. No satisfaction? Yeah, sure, Mick. Okay, fine. That's fine. Satisfy this. You know what I mean, pal? Good. Okay. No satisfaction. My ass. My hand's caught in my hair. Wait. Okay, we 
fall down, we get up. Okay, thank you. And now, of course, you all know the Bob Dylan bar mitzvah tapes are now available. <laughs> Imagine what Dylan's bar mitzvah must have sounded like. Baruch atad noel hinu mele kulum. Share kitty shiny the milk for serve. Zoom golly 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 zoom golly. <laughs> when his voice changes, right? Lay, lay, lay. Plan my mouth for an hour. Let me get that voice. <laughs> I have a fantasy about Dylan I'd like to share with you. I feel that no matter how old Dylan gets, he'll continue to perform. This is my image, my fantasy of the 86 year old Bob Dylan in concert. The old Dylan. Oi. <laughs> Oi, 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 once upon a time you dressed so fine you threw your bums a dime in your prime, didn't you? People called Chevy the doll, you're bound to fall, you thought they was all kidding you. You used to laugh about everybody that was hanging out. Now you don't laugh so loud, Mr. Big Shot, eh? Now you don't feel so proud. About having to be scrounging here next me. Oy. How does it feel like rolling gold stone? Thank you. I can't work unless the wires on this side are nice and no, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. I'm happy, but I'm not fucking gay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't go down on Anita Bryant's husband, you know what I mean? I'd like to tie Anita Bryant a chair and bring her husband in. Watch this, Anita. Tangerine. Okay, squeeze this, Anita, you know what I'm saying? Woman is the pits, okay? Thank you. And now. <laughs>